here today at Reproductive Medicine Associates of Connecticut. I'm here to speak with Dr. Mark Leanderis, Medical Director and also Board Certified Reproductive Endocrinologist about a recent laser acupuncture study that was done. Can you tell us about the recent laser acupuncture study that was conducted here at RMA? This is the largest acupuncture trial that, that, um, that I know of to date and as far as the utilization of the laser to try and standardize traditional acupuncture it is a, a novel utilization of it, and within the state of Connecticut, we are the only practice that is using laser acupuncture to achieve this benefit. The acupuncture study that was completed in RMA was a follow-up to an initial German study that showed a, a significant benefit of, of two acupuncture treatments prior to and after embryo transfer. And therefore, we went ahead and uh, completed a large-scale 1,000 patient study with five arms in order to actually validate or disprove the, the effect of acupuncture. The arms included a traditional acupuncture arm, which included the placement of small needles at traditional acupuncture points with two treatments, one before and one after embryo transfer. The second arm was a laser acupuncture arm, arm which used, used an infrared um, laser in order to stimulate the acupuncture points. Um, with no needles were placed, the laser acupuncture was, is, a, is an effort to standardize the placement of the needles. The third arm was what we call the placebo acupuncture arm, in that the laser was placed over the points, but the laser was never fired. Neither the patient or the acupuncturist or the physician doing the embryo transfer had any idea whether the laser had been fired or not. And this would account for what we call the placebo effect of treatment. The fourth arm was a rel relaxation arm. Patients were put underneath a, a warming blanket, given soft music to listen to both, 20, both before and after embryo transfer in order to uh, assess the effect of simply relaxation on embryo transfer outcomes. And the fifth arm was simply what we do normally, which is people go ahead and come in from the outside with a full bladder. We go ahead with an embryo transfer. They rest for 20 minutes, and then they, go, they leave the office and go about their daily business. What we found at the conclusion of the study once all transfers were done and pregnancy rates were in, there was a clinically significant difference in patients that received laser acupuncture compared to the other treatment arms. Um, interestingly, it, the difference was a, an approximate 10 to 15 percent increase in implantation rates, which carried through to an increase in, in ongoing pregnancy rates in people who completed in vitro fertilization embryo transfers. Another interesting finding is that all treatment arms, patients who did a fresh in vitro fertilization cycle, a donor egg recipient in vitro fertilization cycle, and a frozen embryo transfer cycle benefited from the use of the laser treatment before and after their embryo transfer. Then after we get done in evaluating the numbers for the science aspect of it, laser acupuncture provided a real benefit to patients in achieving their pregnancy. Tell us about laser acupuncture and its effect on the body. How the acupuncture works, depending on who you read, is based on energy lines or what the acupuncture is called chi. But on a basic level, all human beings are bioelectrical organs. Um, everything we do is a function of our brain creating a bio bioelectrical synapse and sending it down to, to either make your hand move or change blood supply somewhere. So. Um, the, the theory on the, the, the role of acupuncture is, is that by changing some of the energy lines that pass through our body, you can actually change bodily systems. So acupuncture has been shown in other trials to affect uterine blood flow. It's been shown to affect hormone levels in women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. And now it's been shown to change implantation rates in patients who are pursuing in vitro fertilization. RMA has two acupuncturists here on staff who took part in the study. The first is Jing Zhang, who is a licensed acupuncturist. She also holds an MD and practiced Western medicine in China for many years prior to coming to the U.S. and getting her degree in acupuncture. Uh, the second acupuncturist is Amy Matten, who has a master's degree as well as has extensively studied acupuncture in China. The system that RMA used was a Luminex laser. Um, and it emits a certain wavelength of light. Uh, when you turn the unit on, you'll hear a beeping sound, and every two seconds there's a beep, and each beep connotates one joule of energy. So when you apply the laser to the surface of the skin, 
we apply the laser to the acupuncture point, you count the, the beeps, and that allows you to be precise in terms of the dose of energy that you're administering to the acupuncture points. And we have seen um, low laser, which is what this is, it's a low level therapeutic laser, um, and it has been used safely and effectively for 35 to 40 years. We've seen it used for a number of different conditions. Prior to this, it's been used for tissue regeneration, wound healing, treatment of acute pain, chronic degenerative disorders, those types of things. And now we're seeing its application to fertility medicine. Talk to us about acupuncture and how it's used in conjunction with fertility treatments. In Chinese medicine, the key, the key point is the blood circulation. We really believe if there is anything, you know, cause the blood circulation, uh, blood circulation block in certain area, then it will cause the body function, you know, dysfunction. For infertility issue, we more focus on the blood circulation and energy flow, especially for the uterus and the ovary. So if, if there is any reason cause blood stagnation or blood st uh, and the chi and the blood circulation block in, in certain area, you know, for those organs, it will cause infertility. So acupuncture is trying to stimulate the nervous system and send the signal to the brain. Let the brain release some chemical like a natural painkiller. Those chemicals can balance the body and balance the hormone and increase the blood circulation and the energy flow for those organs. Because you know, we, we choose a certain point on the body, it can increase the relationship between the energies between the surface of the body and the inner organs. So we try to stimulate the surface of the body and you know, change and increase the function of the internal organs. So in this way, it's help for the infertility.